Hello. Hello. Welcome back to episode 98 of Trusty Hogs. We had a little break. We've both lost our voices. We've both have not seen each other in a month. I have so much to tell you. You have so much to tell me. Uh, it's me, Catherine no. Bowers. It's her, Helen Bowers. Yay. We're both so germy, but we're pretty excited to be here. Yay. And bloody well, Em and Andrew are both in the studio. Yay. Woo. Welcome back, gang. Yay. We're back. Through the fog, step forth the trusty hogs. And they will solve them Or maybe they won't And that's your problem They'll have guests And Andrew White on the tech Oh, it's Helen and Catherine As the trusty hogs Trust the trusty hogs Or maybe not I'm, I'm dying no. I know you think you're dying no, I'm we're not, genuinely I'm not dying. dying We both have colds, Helen Everything's fine No, it's not a cold I've lost the usage of my vocal cords. And yet I can hear you just fine. No, I don't think you can. I think this is going to be a gorgeous episode. I think we sound <laughs> sexy. I think we sound calm. I think we're, gonna, we're basically rebranding with our colds, don't you think? I honestly think this does suit us in some ways. It's kind of hot. It's like us if we did um, sexy phone lines. Do they still do those? So, yeah, are you fucking kidding? Do you think? A hundred percent. Like it's the 90s? Sexy phone lines. You think? Yeah. Well, why wouldn't people just go on the internet? B- poor Wi Fi, uh, bad internet internet connection whoa and also like those phone lines there's older generations who are still like that is the ultimate turn on for sure okay. god there's probably some Gen Zers listening to this who have no idea what these sexy phone lines oh, are oh you call a woman who's like eating chicken and dressed in a way eating chicken yeah she's definitely eating chicken and in tracksuit bottoms yeah and she calls okay, and, and you're like what are you wearing and she's like <laughs> lingerie and he's like what are you eating and she's like I'm sucking on my fingers after you know that kind of thing yeah, yeah. I'm just I thinking don't know why about your perineum and sucking on yeah. my fingers and they're like oh my god yeah I've got the sickest perineum and they're just like I yeah. fucking know yeah. and then the guy like be amazing gets off yeah exactly it wasn't it like really problematic though because then people start thinking that any woman on the phone was trying to get them off so they'd like call up British Gas and like Cheryl would be like what's your meter reading and they'd be like Ugh. <laughs> that feels true because it's like every woman on the phone is trying to turn you on mm. it could be the case listen we are today hey girl hey how are you I've already t- I'm dying okay but si- aside from that what I'm else we're recording this the day after I return from the Edinburgh Fringe you are sweating profusely I'm in a horrible way right now yeah. and no one seems to to care I do care I do no, care no because I came in and said I'm sick and you were like I'm sick I am sick and then you doubled down with so many different like bits and bobs from your bag of medication but if you're I so took some sick paracetamol. if you're so sick then what did you do at 9am this morning I went to Pilates to make myself that's, feel better no that's not if you're sick you don't get up and go to an exercise class I do a slow moving Pilates class to sort of help me breathe properly and feel no. better stretch it out no you get in the shower and you cry for 30 minutes until Sunil says he needs big toilet that is how you deal <laughs> that is how you deal with tricky morning sickness well, I had a long shower afterwards G- well, on in the gym yeah are they the showers where everyone can like see no no oh no no what you know like gym showers that where everyone can see it's not prison it's just the no, gym but, like, back in the day like like leisure centres. Like oh, it's not a leisure centre. It's, it's fancy. I know, but it's like the same as the leisure centre, isn't it? No, they've got like Aesop soaps. It's like... Shut oh, up. Yeah, and like cubicles. Yeah, no, it's nice. But with like like curtains that anyone could pull back at any point. No, with doors <laughs> that you can lock. Why? Are, why? <laughs> what? No, like, do you remember like when you get to secondary school... Like, there's showers for PE because they're like, kids start smelling, even though no one ever uses a shower. We didn't have those in our school. Because they're all either open or they've just got a, 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 what's it called? A curtain. And like, obviously everyone's just going to rip it open and see what's happening with your nipples. It sounds like Mm. very much a you thing. Yeah. What, being afraid of other teenagers when you're a teenager seeing you naked? You sound like the perpetrator. Yeah, I was going to say, you were definitely the one following the curtain back, 100%. Sorry, Emma Black, bend over. I just want to see. Oh my God, that poor girl. You're gorgeous. It's shocking she's still your friend. It's the most gorgeous girl that's ever existed. (laughs) Do you know what we'd like? In, um, in Soho at the, the sauna, the gay sauna. They won't let me in there, I've told you that. How do you 
know, Andrew. You said the only time you've ever gone to a sex party was by accident. <gasps> we didn't go for the jacuzzi. Um, <laughs> oh, please. I came to the bondage place, not for um, sex, just because I love leather. <laughs> I just want to try on the waistcoats, and then I'll be off, lads. Please. As you were saying that, you realise that is something Andrew would do, right? Yeah, I like, know, 100%, I know. I, heard I want to try on the waistcoats. Obviously, he wants to try on the, the fucking waistcoats. You're right, you're right, you're right. Do you know right. why he wants to try them on? Not because he's a gentleman, because Dolly Parton wears one. Carry oh, on, and Andrew. Isn't she fabulous. Oh, yes, yeah, so sorry. Keep pretending that this is true. <laughs> well, the showers on the ground floor, they're all mirrored and there's little portholes into them. No. Because obviously it's, yeah, a, a, a sex place. Andrew, do you mean peoples? People. Yeah, no, but they're, they're, not, they're, not, they're not like people. Portholes. They're in the shape of portholes. Like on, like on a boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's charming. Because <laughs> you're in the splash zone. <laughs> but in your, okay. oh, Catherine, that was I'm very sorry. low brow. I'm oh, sorry. How, how awful. From a woman of the cloth. <laughs> You're wearing a lot of cloth today. I am. Oh my god, I'm cold because I'm sick. I'm so sick though. Okay, but oh, I'm cold because oh, I'm sick. I've got the Burr. shivers and the sweat. Okay, look, we have to get through some things today. The first thing to say is that before we took our break, we had. Can you behave? Before we took our break, we had the Jordan episode. I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say either well, because no, you know people what to are say. so mad at me. Yeah. People are like coming up on the street and being like, why did you gang up on Helen with that road man? And it was I'm horrible. Like, it was just like jokes with a comedian. So I, I went home and I cried. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. No. Do you know actually You went home happened? and had a wank. That's you what you did. You had to run off and go to work. And I said to Jordan, that was unkind. And he went, are you really upset? And I went, I won't be if you go buy me an ice cream sundae. And I walked him to an ice cream shop in Soho Which and one? he had to buy me an ice cream <gasps> sundae. Which one, Snowflake? The, yeah, obviously. Did you get sundae, an actual mm-hmm, sundae? Mm-hmm. What was on there? Just everything, everything. Because he'd, he'd made me upset. So I can't it, believe he fell for that. I know, he falls for everything. He's so like, you wouldn't have been able to tell but he's very sensitive. But I got so much. <laughs> you wouldn't have been able to tell, but he's very because sensitive. Because you two are story like of men everywhere. shit. So bad, such poor behaviour, and I Helen. will await an apology. Sorry, Helen. Like you mean it. Sorry, Helen. That's okay. I'm sorry I threatened to fart in your face. Are you also sorry <laughs> that you didn't get me a birthday gift, or is that coming soon? I didn't. <sighs> it's so cool because now I don't have to get you a birthday gift, so this is good. No, you do, you do. No. I, I, right, here's the thing. No. Yes. Right, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yes. Your birthday was August 13th. Uh-huh. It's, it, same as every it's year. It's the 29th of August right now. Yeah. So that's a gap. Uh-huh. On your actual birthday. This is the first time we've seen each other, though, since my birthday. On your actual birthday, contacted but Instagram post, which I know you'd love. Mm-hmm. And I do actually have my been... gift is your Instagram post. No, no, no. Great, I'll get you an Instagram post for your birthday. Your gift is in my bag. Is it? Don't do not pull out a tampon. I wish I remembered tampons. I've got so much toilet roll in between my lips We've right now. What? Here. I've got tampons. I know. I just don't know where they are in here. They're, they're in this cupboard. Oh, that's great. Andrew's an ally. Take How the about tampon. A scrunchie you've previously given me. No, it's filthy now. It probably is, actually. I can see I from it. it the inhaler. way you handed it to me, it looked heavy with, like... Have you ever put that through the wash? That was crunchy. No. I, I would if I were you. It's, like, it looks heavier and yet somehow smaller than when I gave it to you, which makes me think it's, like, possessed okay. by a lot of dirty Happy liquid. Happy birthday. It's a number seven airbrush away radiance boosting primer. It's brand new because I just bought it in boots about ten minutes ago. I'll take it. No, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I actually... Oh, happy birthday. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Thank you. I also bought tickets to the theatre for both of you us. You bought a musical. To, you know, yeah. I know you bought tickets to a for musical. For Hadestown. What is that, that, that indeed, yeah, yeah. What is that it's indeed? It's a wonderful musical coming to the West End. Andrew's like already musicals. bought tickets for May. I've got tickets for February, the week after it opens. I'm telling you now it's going to sell out and it's going to be a massive hit. And I'm taking you there for your February birthday celebration. Thank you, I can't wait. Which is, in fact, your half birthday. Everyone knows how much February I love February 13th musicals. is your half birthday. Is it on the 13th? No, it's actually the 20th. Okay. But... <laughs> 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 but you're going to have a wonderful time and I will be taking you for dinner as well. Okay. At your, no, not your restaurant of choice. 
<laughs> that'll be expensive and it'll be like a long queue. At Do you want to go to Yella Yella? Pizza Express of choice. You want to go to Yella Yella? What's that now? Cheap Lebanese, but it's delicious. I love Lebanese Let's food. Let's do Yella Yella. Let's go there. It's affordable as yum. And there's a few, but there's one in Soho. Don't everyone go there on the 20th of February. Now we can't Everyone's do that. Everyone's going to go there on the 20th of February. Right, you know what? You may go to your Pizza Express of choice. Final take. Happy it. birthday! <laughs> I can't believe you forgot to get me a birthday gift. I can't believe I forgot to get you a birthday gift. It's actually gift. so rude. I never forget to get it's you a birthday gift. It's because of the gift. gap. It's because of the gap between your birthday and actually not seeing you on your birthday. Because where did you go? This isn't on me. I came up to Edinburgh and you went. I was taken on holiday with my girlfriend. To be fair, that's not my fault. To the weirdest Sorry place. Sorry, being of all so time. pretty. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let's get into it. Edinburgh. I'll go first because I went before. Oh, we have we to talk about we it. We have to talk okay, about it. And I then... slayed too hard. Okay, well, here we go. I drove seven hours to Edinburgh. Two hours were driven by my friend, Adele. But the rest I drove. It's fucked up. It oh, was... Hi, Adele. Hi, Adele. I went um, to see a show with Adele. What's happening? My back was so bad after it, I felt 1,000 years old. Um, you shouldn't drive that much, it turns out. <laughs> Did, however, stop at the tea base services. May I say... You lost your mind, didn't you? What a fucking <laughs> wonderful day out that is. Goodness me, I've been sleeping on tea bay. I went on the way back as well. I mm. absolutely love it there. I bought so many homework. Who knew you get so many homewares on the side of the street? <laughs> Fabulous. Loved it. Um, but the drive was hell. I thought, oh my God, this is so scary. There was so much rain. I, I could barely see two cars in front of me. It was so scary, but I did it. I was very proud of myself. You were amazing. Get to Edinburgh. Um, do my work in progress. Had... Ellen Tech for me, which was really nice, but also it's really still weird. A mental choice. Yeah, but actually, it turns out when you have somebody who actually knows about scripts in your show every day, they remember the mad shit you say and then write it down. Oh, that is nice. Actually. It was really weird. She like cared about the show, and I was like, oh, maybe I should care about the show. I still anyway, think it got lesbians better. are too close. Oh I'm no, I agree. I it's agree. Fucking creepy. But it got better, and that was nice. I like, actually got good by the end. And also, the sisters who are lesbians who um, I came know. to my show. I saw this. Okay, but um, so I was telling this. I so I have full permission to tell the story. Oh great! From them, because I got it um, when they were in my show, and I realized they were in my show, and I was already telling it. Um, and so I was like, "Hey, girls, hey, can I have permission to tell the story?" And they were like, "Yes, thank goodness." But you were already using it in your show. Listen, I was. Shut I was up. By the way, for no. anyone who has no idea what we're talking about, this is a problem that we did on an episode and then we got an update during a live episode and now Catherine has taken as her own. I've asked, can I t tell the story on stage? This is fucking epic. Yeah, because and I, I should bring them on tour with me because every time they come to my show, they have another update. They had another update at my show. So can you tell you know, me or should we save it for the patrons? We'll save it for the patrons. Okay, so That's such a good point. full context, it is the March live show. Um, Thank you, Andrew. Kitley, and the uh, June live show with the lovely Rose Johnson. Those both have the context in it. Honestly, the wildest story in the history of time, which is why I had to put it in my stand -up. Thank you. Wow, very smart, Andrew. God, that was weirdly encyclopedic. Um, it You're felt like you studied us. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like it. Um, anyway, then um, did Edinburgh. But no, how was like? How did you find Edinburgh without Helen? And that? I missed you a lot. Me too. I would say I don't. I think twelve o'clock's too early for me to do a show. I had a lovely time, but sweet Jesus, the days are so long. You think like, oh, I'll go home and nap, but you don't. You don't. So you're just like having the most insanely long days. Mm -hmm. And also. Um, I saw Hannah Camilleri. Okay, I met her yesterday at a taxi stand at King's Cross Station. Phenomenal, phenomenal, she's phenomenal, she's phenomenal. To London. She's in London. Her show. Oh my God, go see her show. She's at Soho. She's there like now. One woman stand-up show. She starts dressed as a mechanic with a moustache. You're like, hell yes, I'm queer, I'm in. And it's so funny and good. She's phenomenal. I loved her. And I don't even really that's approve so of sketch. so mad that I met her yesterday. Yeah, that's wild. But she was great. I loved, loved, loved her show. Great. I thought Olga Cox's show was a isn't it? Isn't it good. so it's like good? A masterclass in stand up. Chloe Betts. I saw it. Oh, I loved it. I loved, loved it. it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved, I loved, it. It. I loved, I loved it. Bankable, loved bankable, it. bankable, bankable. Yep. Also, just like when my thing about Chloe Betts I love is that you can bring anyone from any age and they'll be like, I want to be your friend. I want to be your friend so bad. I want to be your friend. I want to be your friend. I is she Heidi free? Regan. Already friends of Chloe, so okay, I'm a waste that's of time. A bad, yeah. That's a bad metric. I brought um, just a bunch of strangers, some enemies. 
actually and they were all like really? I should make up with her yeah sick yeah um, and then uh, so had a good time had a really nice time drank too much obviously oh, obviously and then had to drive five hours across to the Hebrides now this I, is where it gets good may I say I'm really rude that I've been talking this whole time and you've been like get to the point um, anyway I'm, my girlfriend very sweetly booked a ferryman's cottage on the smallest Hebridean island off the side say of Scotland again. a ferryman's, ferryman's cottage, cottage. Off of, now what well, let's start there yeah. we've got <laughs> listeners from all over the world I did think you said ferryman yeah that's exactly why I thought a I'd double check cottage. just in case <laughs> no yeah, it's like the, the, the Hebrides you must all go it's, it's a wonderful utopia for all queer people yeah. it actually <laughs> is oh my god so get this so we she picked there because we watched this show called Designing the Hebrides which is sorry it's a homosexual from Australia who lives on Mole who won design interior wars or whatever design masters wars whatever that is his name's Banjo I have Banjo. no idea what's happening right now okay, my darling he's a Don't bearded bear who designs places businesses on the Isle of Mole and then we him and his husband live there guess what we get into this Hebridean island of Easdale we're walking along we see this guy we're like huh Helen's like that's, oh, wait, wait. that's your man. That's Banjo's husband. Said? That's Ellen was like, that's. Oh, I heard Helen. Yeah. You keep doing it. Oh, God. Oh. You keep saying I Helen. I do keep doing it. That's Ellen. so weird. That's creepy as hell. The worst part is I always, I always say your name to her when I'm mad at her. No, when she's in trouble. I'm always like, Helen! I mean, Helen! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Ellen was like, uh, that's his husband. <laughs> Um, because she recognised him from their dog. Anyway, you guys need to get a homosexuals life, right? are too yeah insular. But the point is, we um went to this tiny ferryman's cottage. It's like a small cottage beside the water where a man who would have worked the ferries lived. The pub was open for two hours a day, three days a week. <laughs> <laughs> and the pub was the cottage across from ours. Oh um, 59 people lived there. The internet stopped working at certain junk, like a lot of the time. But you weren't the only gays there. No, we weren't. That's good. Um, but you did have to get a ferry to like the supermarket um, or to, well, I mean, supermarket to the thatch <laughs> shop on the side of the road. Um, we went to Mole, that was beautiful. We went um, and saw some whales, which was really, really great. Again? Again, we still <laughs> like them. Um, it was I really. I figured out why lesbians like whales. Why? Because of the wet hole. <laughs> Come on, because of the blowhole. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are we fucking... We're all now deciding that's not our sense of humour, are we? <laughs> We've all just agreed. Have we? That that's not what... We're all too good for that, are we? You know what? <laughs> Don't you dare cry! I can't with you today. <laughs> Behave yourself. Stop Please it. Please tell me that was a good joke. Yeah, you're very funny. That was great. Oh, my God. Also, <laughs> did you have this thing in... <laughs> Another wet hole. <laughs> okay, got M the second time. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay, here's my question. Did you have this thing in Lush in Lush in Edinburgh where Lush contacted you be, um to come for a treatment? Don't even get me fucking started. Did on you this. not? Everyone, everyone <laughs> and their fucking cat's mum was was going to the thank you Lush Spa Edinburgh for my treatment. Did they contact me? Did they bugger me? Did they not? No! <laughs> they were giving it to fucking like just, like fucking people who barely barely need a treatment. Like, you know what I mean? Like I oh. need help. I need genuine facial health I'm not like you know I'm not doing well and they were just giving it to like just like fucking hotties well the best Mad. thing about it was that we got the treatments and then also they gave us a gorgeous gift bag of things which was so kind of them thank you Lush and so <laughs> who did you go with? Ellen and um, you Chloe were there Chloe you went. were there Chloe went how do I know that? because I was at a bus stop waiting for a bus playing my new game called Happy Match Cafe oh you do where need I help. match items <laughs> and Chloe was like I'm so sorry I'm in a rush I have a facial <gasps> which one did she I'll talk to her which turned out not to be a facial turned out to be a 90 minute massage oh my god that's even better anyway Em also looks furious like Em didn't get to go to the spa um, but the point is em. We will go ourselves because I don't need to be invited because I do not believe in hashtag gifted. The more successful you are, the more free things you get. And I do not believe in that. I will be opening the gifts and yeah. trust the Hogs officers in a minute. <laughs> but I do not believe in them. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Who else went? Olga went. 
I don't know. I didn't keep track. My point is like, I got this gift bag, so I brought it to Easdale. So I did a little spa for myself there as well, which was really nice. It was actually what I was going to say. And also, it used to be a slate quarry, so you can just swim in the old slate quarries. They're full of um, salt water now. And so it was beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What so the fuck's a slate quarry? Oh, my God. Where they get slate out of the ground. Yeah. And then there were big holes where they used to do that. And then I've just filled it with water. A tidal wave came. They filled with salt water. So you can just swim in them like natural pools. It was divine. Look, was it my natural space? No. Did I get on board? Yes. Did I have a gorgeous time? Yes. Was I shocked? Yes. Did... The only downside was um, that I had to do all the driving. So on the way back, we drove through the lakes, which was gorgeous. But we did do paddle boarding and I was terrible and Ellen was good because sports gays um, sport and I was mad. Um, Also, the man who was running, it was like, let's do tricks. And I was like, how about we don't, Adrian? How about we don't? Um, It was like you stand at the back of the board and spin around. I was like, it's a hard no from me, Adrian. Absolutely not. Um, Good for you for pretending you wanted to do it. Yeah, I did. I really didn't okay. pretend that well. Um, then he was like, you have to paddleboard back and I'm going to go get the boat. And I was like, I'll absolutely be getting in the boat with you, Adrian. And he was like, no, seriously, you can't. And I was like, yeah, I will be. And he was like, no, that's not how the class ends. And I was like, I'll, I'll be, I'll be with in the boat. Adrian had a vibe. But listen, it's fine. Um, he was listened he to the Joe Rogan podcast. He just dropped oh. it in. He just dropped it in. It was hilarious. But he was nice. So it was weird. It was hard to tell because I wouldn't have guessed it until he said it. I was like, there it is. That's the vibe. Is Adrian's um, job paddleboarding or general water? sports because there is a difference Paddle boarding. yeah was he wearing oakley sunglasses he wasn't wearing any sunglasses he looked like he thought sunglasses were for weak people oh no he didn't like sun cream was for like snowflakes yeah 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 i know those sort of people probably i shouldn't where... have used his actual name oh well hi adrian hope you're thriving <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like the joe rogan version of yoga with adrian yes but i love yoga <laughs> i love yoga with adrian no Come really on. don't discuss yoga with adrian fine um, you've truly been thriving but then guess what what my girlfriend convinced me to cut our holiday short by a day to come home because England were playing in the World Cup final and she wanted to watch it with her women's football team. That's fair enough. Yes, except that they lost. I know, but they won one. They won against Australia. They just didn't win against... Was it Spain? Yeah. Yeah. I know that because of Twitter. <laughs> what do you mean they won one? Well, they won their semi-final, right? Yeah, there that's were two how they were in the final. were two things that people were very excited about. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, don't, I didn't watch them, my love. I didn't yeah, watch them. I can really I'm not, tell. I I'm can a feminist, really tell. but I don't like football, so it's really tricky for me. Yeah. I get it. I do get it. Anyway, that's um, basically um, the the thing is that when we were at the Fairman's Cottage and I was trying to be an outdoor person, um, there were slugs. The slugs. There were slugs in the I'm apartment. Telling in the now flat. They're making a comeback this year. They are. They were they ruining are my life. Everywhere. And they everywhere. Are, what? Why do you know? I've it? got slugs in my house. What? They are everywhere. No, I was on an island. Why the hell do you have them in your Did London you, flat? This has been okay. How many were in your? Because we had one. By the way, Helen, I just told you that I drove like twenty hours in a week, and you didn't give me any praise. Can you hear Also, Wait, how can I say driving on country for? roads is terrifying? One road tracks with those little pull-in bits where everyone drives 60 miles an hour and they beep you if you go 40? What the fuck? Those people are crazy. Okay. Um, yeah, well done, well done, well done, well done. The slugs are taking <laughs> over. Okay. What? It started, right, beginning of this spring... I would notice in my little patio garden area that there were slugs. Outdoors is fine. I don't mind outdoors. The size of my forearm no. with, with leopard print spots on them. <laughs> I looked them up because I was like, I've not seen it. They're leopard slugs, okay? And I actually had looked them up the year before because it was like purple on my phone, so I clearly clicked on it before, but still. Okay, so they're everywhere. They're everywhere and they gather, right? Mm. And then I'm like, where are all the snails? And I'm like, these slugs are so big, they've probably bullied the snails out of this part of the world. This is fucking awful. And then for about three You're months. You're an odd David Attenborough. And then for about three months. Probably. I'd go for toilet what? in the night. You know, like night I toilet. Tried. Night toilet inside. No, I toilet inside now. What the fuck? Is that? <laughs> so what thing was that to say? No. And I was like, looks like I used to have a wee in a park every single night for about a year. When so was, it's crazy. But when I was like 21. So like, it's crazy for me to ask? It's too old. Yeah, it's not too old. No, it was because of like a bus route and the time it took me to get home from my last access to a toilet meant that I would always need the toilet. By the end of a trip, so I'd always go in the same park. Tooting Common, if anyone was wondering. 
You're disgusting. I'm not disgusting because I wouldn't wet myself. Ooh. Oh, so annoying. Those are not the only two choices. And then it is, it's wet myself or teaching comment. No, no, think, think, think. I would finish work at the National Theatre. Did you bring the toilet roll with you eventually? Because you, you realised you were going to do it every no, day. No, no, just do the, like, you know, when you're like squatting. Wait, you, and you did it you every hop. day for a year and at no point do you think I'll bring the roll? No, because I'd nearly, I'd be close enough to home. And I'm not wearing the knickers the next day. Oh, you just put it, pull them back up all the bit wet. No, I do the, the the jumpy thing. Why are you shaking your tits at me? Because when you know when you squat down for a wee, and then you've got one hand on a tree I stability. I actually don't. I, may I say? I oh, actually you've don't. never weed in a park. I haven't. Listen, it's very simple. Yes, traditionally you use bathrooms at places as toilets. Yes, I know that. Yeah. But I was working in the National Theatre. I was living down. Please stop saying the National Theatre. They don't want to be tied the to the Royal this. National Theatre. <laughs> <laughs> and I finished. Hashtag like, sponsored. I finished in the evening, and we'd always drink after every like shift, and we'd all hang out, we drink together, and then I would go on a bus. That because of the length of the bus. I would have broken the seal, so I'd go before I went to get on the bus. By the time I got on the bus, by the time the bus ended, I would also need the toilet again. Right. And I lived like a 15 to 20 minute walk away from the bus stop. Uh -huh. Right. So then on that walk home, I would always stop at the edge of the park and have a wee wee. And I would put my hand on the same tree and I'd squat down. Did anybody else piss, ever put their hand on your hand? And I know that would have been fucking insane. That's how I feel like you'd meet That's your husband. That, yeah. A man would just place his hand on your hand and be weeing on the other side of the tree and be like, oh God, sorry, didn't Everyone see you there. Everyone else would freak out and I'd just look up like Charles Dance. Um, <laughs> and I'll be like, <laughs> I just assume, I assume it's going to be like a Charles Dance-like character in the woods. Because he looks like he lives in the woods, you know? Like the, hello. Sorry for coughing, okay. I'm just much sicker than you. And then I... <laughs> I'm sick too, Catherine. I know, I'm just sicker. I'm sick too. I know. And then I bouncy, 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 so the drips off the lips are gone. And then I went home, and then I changed my, then I put my knickers in the laundry bin. I'm sick of justifying myself. The slugs have made a comeback. Right. I'd go to the bathroom at How home, are they, are they related? inside. Okay, yes. fine. And there would be a slug on the edge of the bath. And I don't, Ooh. right, right, thank you, Andrew. Wait, so I, have a thought. I have a thought, I have a thought, I have a thought. Go on. Did you ever look down when you were pissing? Were you drowning slugs? Are they coming for revenge? And if so, why were they in Easdale? What do I have to do with this? Oh, what do you mean, like, in the park back in the day, like, when I was pissing? Yeah, did I was you kill it? You must have killed some slugs. But the, that's tooting slugs. I don't live in tooting anymore. Yeah, but they found you. Don't, because I'm actually my... Oh, my God, I've they got goosebumps. They found you. I'm freaking out. They found you. But they come into the bathroom. So the point me and Sunil had to have... Well, you came into have... their house and used it as a bathroom. So they've come into your bathroom in your house. Wait, but it's got so much worse because then me and Sunil had to own a bit of toilet roll, like, you know, the end, the cardboard bit at the end that we had to use as slug remover. That's what we used in Easter. They're yeah, very good for they're that. They're very good for slug yeah. So we had that. I we say were... we. I obviously screamed and cried and Ellen had to do it. But we were... Yeah, I made Sunil do it a couple yeah, of times. Obviously, come on. Um, so slug removal, and it was just constantly taking over, and it was so stressful. And then one day in Edinburgh, I just get a text from Sunil saying... They're looking for you? They're asking for you? No, don't, because I'm actually going to... You're, you're freaking me they out. They spelled out a H in the bathroom. This is my version <laughs> of the exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> like Sunil lifts back my duvet and there's just 500 of them ravaging my body half yeah. eaten yeah. <laughs> just coming out my nose oh okay my. Um, um, and then there was um, he had a slug inside of his protein shaker oh. are you fucking kidding no joke it'd been living there inside his protein shaker and I was like where was it please he was like, tell on me the he, draining board with our me, clean dishes please tell me he threw it away please tell me he threw he it away he has thrown it away but I sent Ugh. a text and I called him and I was like um, oh my god what do you mean there's a slug like they've made their way up to the, the to the kitchen and I was like freaking out and I was like if it's on the draining board then you need to put some salt down on the draining board so they don't go there again Sunil because I can't I can't live like this anymore I can't live like this and then he went yes okay I'll salt it and then clearly he got pissed off because I told him what to do even though it was obvious and he didn't know then he calls Jordan Brooks and Brooks and then he tells Jordan Brooks Helen's freaking out she told me to salt the entire kitchen 
which I didn't. I did not say to salt the entire kitchen. And then about five hours Men later... Men are so dramatic. I'm having lunch with Jordan and a couple of other people at City Cafe because I love to look after myself. City, you had lunch at City Cafe? Mm, way too many times. That's insane. I know, way too there's many like, times. You, I know, I know, I know, like, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm saying there's a viable pl- scenario in which you go to City Cafe for for breakfast, right? Where you're like, you want a greasy breakfast because you're hungover, but there's no world in which you're like, The Wi Fi's good. And it's next to my venue. Lunch. Leave it there. Leave it there. Well, yeah, but like, so is well, like o'clock lunch. Hula's a bit further away. But there's so many Hula's, nice places. Hula's about a five minute walk. City Cafe's 30 seconds. Why am I walking five minutes for a nice meal? I don't think so. I'm not getting mugged but off Ox like that. 186 is just at the end of the road. That is lovely. I forgot that existed. Yeah. That's on me, that. Also, I once had a mental, like, I had like a partial mental breakdown in there. Everyone has its end. No, there's but not like, a single like, place like that's the not the beginning true. of going to the hospital one. So like, it's, it's, I've scarred it for me. Like like you did for tooting comma with the slugs. Yeah. And that's yeah, why yeah, they're yeah, coming yeah. for you. I've got, t- I've got two spots in Edinburgh where I'm like, I definitely lost bit of my mind that I've never rebuilt Where's the in other these one? places. I have some. Where is your other one? I don't want to say. <laughs> okay, that's fine. No, I can't. I'll tell you. What, what, where's your ones? Obviously, um, the last place I was like weeping was the Meadows yeah. by um, that, the place, the... You know where they sell the Danishy, like the Scandi coffee. What's that called? Oh, Soderberg. Soderberg. And I remember. I don't know if she oh, remembers. I have good memories of Soderberg. Okay. I I just I remember making full eye contact with. The, I was crying alone, like sobbing. And I remember making contact eye contact with the comedian, who had the good grace to see me clock make full eye contact and just keep walking yeah. and I thank Emma City for that on the podcast actually <laughs> she's and a good woman she just kept moving and I really yeah. respect that um, and uh, the other is um, yeah okay interesting you don't want to say uh, my mind's opposite the doctor's surgery where the festival fringe doctor is oh okay that'll do it yeah yeah that'll do it I would say the um, <laughs> the you know the stairs outside the mash house yeah. Yeah, not a good place for me. <laughs> I am very familiar with the stairs yeah, from the Yeah, not a good house. place. No. Cuz my place. secret coffee spot overlooks there. Oh heaven. I think it's probably the worst place for being trapped. Could because those stairs go up and down for so long. Mm-hmm. You know, if you run for into so somebody, long. if you run into somebody who's coming up them and you're going down them and you don't want to see that person, it is truly it's like a, it's like um, it's a the worst kind for of about purgatory. 20 minutes, yeah. It's truly <laughs> fucking hell. It's hell on earth. And also, like I'm such a klutz that so, like the likelihood I'll slip as well is just it's all so much. I did not fall once to Edinburgh. I did not go fully. I rolled my ankle about eight times, but okay. I did not go fully down. I'm really proud of you. Yeah, hey, girl, I hey. usually spend half the month because it's so steep and I cannot. I just can't walk. Fair I play. spend half the month rolling around on cobblestones, whilst like sweet comedians go. There's a car again, Helen. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was I was upright for basically the whole thing. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm real proud of you. The slugs are Go coming. On. Yeah, for you. <laughs> so, you deserve it. It seems so, like so. And then so you just rang. You just rang Neil, being like, Don't sold the whole kitchen, obviously. Oh, and he you went, just obviously, rang. I knew that. And he was just trying to like piss Jordan off or something. So now there's slugs everywhere. Then I come home last night, and he's like, the slugs are over. We've now got mice. And I was like, define we've got mice. And he was like, they're everywhere. Because, like, so many people are moving around us. Clearly, they've decided, like, where's our new home? Where's our new home? They've picked us. And I was like, okay, like, he might be being silly. I bought a loaf of bread yesterday. Oh my god, it was horrible. I woke up this morning. Helen, no, just stop. Just and stop. It was out stop, on the stop. side Helen. on top of the microwave, Helen. as we always keep it. And I took two slices you pick out. That, that up before you carry on. You Sorry. Keep it out on the side on top of the microwave. Bread, yeah. Do you have a bread bin or? No, I don't own a bread bin because I'm not from the 1950s. I own a bread bin. Yeah, well, I'm also I don't have that version of OCD. Okay. I also you have, have a bread a, bin. Yeah, I'm on a level of gay. Like, of there's, okay, there's, there's there's a lot of different things going on right now. Okay, I'm normal. <laughs> I'm the normal one. I am the baseline normal for this room. Wait, call so... me, call me average Helen. Wait, <laughs> Run so... of the mill. Wait, so you're just keeping bread on the side? I'm not like, not just like, I'm not like, I'm not fucking coming home, taking the bread out of the packet and going, bread. And, and like having random slices on top of the microwave and making a sculpture. Like, it's inside the packet. I take two slices out, I wrap it back up. 
I would buy you a bread bin for your birthday, but we don't get each other birthday gifts, it turns out. <laughs> right. You are Sorry. getting a gift. You've got theatre tickets. You've got a lovely primer, which I know you're going to enjoy because that's radiance boosting and you fucking love being radiant. And I will buy you some... What do you, what do you fucking want? I'll think about it and I'll let you know. No, I'm going to... I know what I'm going to get you. I know what I'm going to get you. Okay. We, Wait, so you pulled the bread out of your horrible little plastic bag I put, on top like, of your microwave. And I'm like, oh, there's so many crumbs everywhere. But Sunil bought a ninja when I was away because he's decided that he's going to start making his own sauces and pesto. What's the ninja? It's like a little, like, like blender for, like, small items. Why does, don't you have a blender? Don't. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't, 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 do not, do not. Piss me off, because I know what everyone's trying to do. They're trying to rattle my cage right now. But I will, I will <laughs> remain calm, because my voice is hurting. Okay. So he's decided that he's going to make chutney Thelsa's pesto, okay? So he's <laughs> bought a ninja. <laughs> so he's bought a ninja. Okay. And then it was like, there was loads of breadcrumbs everywhere. And I was like, oh, we probably tried to make some breadcrumbs. <laughs> Which now doesn't make sense. But at eight this morning, I was like, that makes sense. To two slices of pizza toaster, <laughs> I lift up the bread and I was like, oh, there's so many breadcrumbs, I was so mad. Oh. And then I looked in the side of the packet and there was just like fucking feasting where like five mice had clearly been overnight. And I was like, <laughs> like grabbed up the bread, threw it away, obviously found some bread in the fridge that Sunil's that I ate. And then he was like, why would you leave your bread out? And I was like, I didn't realize we had mice like that. And now we just now, we're just, just us now. I thought he meant that there was like, we've had it before where we've just seen like one mouse randomly like run across somewhere and then it's just like gone because there's like loads of cats that live on our road yeah, but I think all the cats moved out this is horrific and because those people are moving around us that they obviously like they're like where's food where's food and we have food okay can I ask now please because I'm actually I feel disgusted um, what's being done I mean like have you got traps have you got like some sort of spray have you got um, somebody coming to deal with this Verm a vermin guy a pest guy um, have you told the landlord no okay so you tell your landlord and they'll send out a pest control man no he won't he's very laid back our landlord yeah he will because that's his duty and contractual obligation I would suspect yeah, but Sunil was thinking about a new job and he thought he wanted to be a plasterer but maybe he could be a vermin person no so you need a pest control guy and you also need to make some sort of peppermint oil spray in the meantime because they hate it and you need to put your food away, do obviously. they actually hate it? They actually hate it, and you need to hoover up every fucking crumb. Yeah, I told Sunil to do that this morning. He came out of his room with little hoover, because he's got little hoover. No, but seriously, you need to make a peppermint spray and get a pest control guy in. Define peppermint spray. Dilute some o o some peppermint oil with I've water and then spray oil. it fucking everywhere. Okay. Everywhere. They hate it. Spider doesn't like it either, so it's a good benefit there. What doesn't like it either? Spiders. But mainly, oh. you need an actual pest control person to get rid of these, because they're going to have babies otherwise. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't want to live like this because there was like that. that you could like just constantly so have, like. Helen. Oh my god! It's so I haven't had mice in forever. Or you need to get a kitten. I'm allergic to cats. Well, then you need to get a fucking pest control guy. I know. Or, you know, at the um, Royal National Theatre, I swear to God, I don't have not being sponsored by them. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding them. me? They, so, you know, like, people, like, have, like, theatre cats, or, like, there's cats at a lot yeah. of buildings. Um, the National, they hire a hawk once a month to come down, like, first thing in the morning when no one's around and um, allow what? the hawk to run around and get, like, rats and mice and stuff. Please don't bring a hawk into your apartment. I'm bringing what a hawk. What are you talking about? That's horrific. I'm buying me a hawk. I think... M, write it down. No, M, I'm no, don't write hawk. it down. M, no, why don't you just let... She's going to be called Cara. Just... <laughs> what? Just get pest control. Why Cara? Kaka! Because it... Kaka, Cara. It makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Write down no, Cara. don't write anything down. <laughs> Get a pest control oh, guy. Cara. <laughs> Helen. I'm here for the mice. So, so far what you're saying is that you've basically <laughs> been feeding the mice and your only solution is a hawk. No, I, we've got, we've got these um, plugins that have a light. What does that mean? I don't know. You got a nightlight. It said it said so they didn't what, like it. Move Maybe like it emits their, a sound or something. Piece. But Sunil bought them. And he was like, "This sound will be really good because it repels animals." But then he researched it again, and turns out that for the first three weeks, it makes them all come to it, and then they go. 
<laughs> what? I don't know. I didn't really understand what he was saying. He was like, he bought this like sound repellent. So can I, just, can I just check in? Can I just check in? What you're, ta- what you're telling me is that you are laying out a midnight. Oh, can I just point me, out that Andrew and Emma are laughing in a nasty me. way, and I know there's something wrong, but I don't know yet. So don't be cruel. What is that? Like you're difference. saying? No, you fucking I don't. I have No, you don't. I do. <laughs> okay. Well, what it sounds like you're saying is that. I've got a diagnosis. So I've got extra time at school. has set up an animal siren, essentially, yeah, but not to, in call one part, to, to call non- them to your home. Yeah, yeah. At which point they arrive. Only for three and weeks. And you have laid three out weeks, yeah. a, an atop the micro yeah. midnight feast. Yeah. He has mood lit it with this nightlight. It's blue. Oh, yes, it's nice, yeah. <laughs> and then they go in the morning and you come in and are like, not like that. I didn't think we had mice like that. Yeah. What the fuck? Just get a fucking pest I control I couldn't gun. really understand. Well, I've only been home for less than 24 hours. So that's on Sunil, really. And the slugs and the mice. Or you could wait until a rat comes and takes over. What's, no, ter- joking, what's terrifying awful. is that in November I'm moving back into shared living, as you know. And I'm yeah. scared about it. We haven't, I've not had this situation in years. Yeah, but you're the situation is what I'm scared of, I guess. No offense. What? <laughs> Just like you with your, I didn't invite them. With your bread out and stuff. And oh, like, come on. Everyone needs pissy, bread on the side. You're pissy That's little not, laundry pants. And the pissing. I don't... I Now I live close to the bus stop. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I did say, and did I not say very clearly earlier, I don't piss outside anymore. Yeah. I think I did. Wow, Thank you. you're so brave. Okay. I didn't piss on the street once in Edinburgh this year. Okay, quickly tell me about your Edinburgh. How did it go? I thrived. Uh huh. I was great. I was wonderful. You got really good reviews. I got. I only had two reviews, but That's they were very good. Pretty good. Hey. They were very good. I'd rather have two good ones um, than five and a four. Don't Woo! mind if I do. Don't, don't mind, mind if, if I do. don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I did it for two weeks, and I was like hoping I'd get more reviews. But two, I'll fucking take it. Two good ones, I'd rather than um, three average. The ones. show is life changing. Why? Just it's just it's just so brilliant. I liked um, your little video of you getting on stage and doing your. Um, <laughs> you sent me a message. I liked it so much when you squeezed your boobs together. I showed it to Ellen and we liked it. <laughs> it was nice. Um, it was really. I had a really nice Edinburgh. I'm so really nice. I mean, obviously, there's a couple of things I'll tell you off podcast. Oh, good. Well, yeah, I think yeah. it's interesting though. <laughs> as I was leaving, write that down so I don't forget. As I was leaving, <laughs> like nine days in, I, I, I got could. Some- Gossip. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, uh, not for like. Okay. Well, I was, um, as I was like leaving, I could see that people, it was a perfect time to leave because I could see everyone was just about starting to get weird. You know, that sort of feral stare. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh shit, Helen's arriving when the crazy does and I'm leaving as yeah, it starts. Yeah. Um, was it, did you have some big nights out? I arrived when people were like, well, this is what it is. <laughs> I guess everyone hates me. The industry ignores me. <laughs> And also when people are like, I'm the superstar of the world. And then I just yeah. sort of like, I could hear the train pulling in and I was on it going like, I'm going to stir the shit give out of me, it. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. I actually arrived really luckily. I arrived as people were having their days off. Oh, that's so 14, nice. So 14th and 16th, people traditionally have one day off. That's nice. <clears throat> also, like... I just think I've been doing it long enough now. It's the first year where I was like, oh my God, like things that felt like such a big deal. I know. When I first went, when I was 18, when I was just a tech, like I wasn't going up and doing a show when I was 18. But like, I was like, I remember like, I sort of like measure my growth as a person by Edinburgh. Yeah. I was like, I was 18. I didn't really have any friends because like everyone already knew each other. I didn't know anyone. Everyone was like hanging out and knew where to go. Um, Sorry, can we just talk about your I love you so much? I didn't have any friends because everyone already knew each other. No, you'd never been before. If they weren't ganging up on you or leaving you out. They, you just oh, didn't... no, they weren't, no. <laughs> but they already knew each other. Yeah, so you just had what to be there. What did I say wrong then? Oh, I just thought, have you farted? No. <laughs> 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 Helen. <laughs> I genuinely, Helen. if I have, Helen. I'm actually frightened. Because <laughs> I can't smell anything, and that would be a genuine leak that I would be concerned for my body. Okay. Am I leaking? 
Maybe. Wait, um, is there actually fart smell? Well, I believe you if you say you no. You can't smell it. Um, but my question was, it just I just thought it was just such a funny framing of the situation <laughs> of not having any friends in a place you'd never been with anyone you'd ever met before. But go on. Sorry. Okay. So yes, your growth they was... they weren't nice to me. <laughs> so the growth, personal growth is that now you have friends? And now I have friends and like things like, I was like 18 and I was really like embarrassed like eating in public by myself for some reason because that's like a thing that yeah, you no, go through when yeah. you're just like, everyone's going to be like, oh, she's fat, why is she eating? Like that's a question of his mind. And then this year, I was just like going into pie maker, like who gives a fucking shit? Yeah. Um, I thrived. I don't I'm know so what glad. to say. The show was fun. Met a lot of hoggies. A lot of hoggies. Me too. Which is very tricky because you're doing the bucket and then you're trying to like have a chat with them and you want the gossip and then the next show has to start. Yeah. So it gets to the last half of the queue and you're just sort of like, fuck you, the show's got to go on. Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah. that's but a it's tricky so nice. thing. It's so nice to have so many huggies thank in. Thank you for my gifts. So many. Oh, thank you so much for the gifts. And thank you. No, Can no, I thank say you this? For my gifts. Thank you so much to everyone. I think we have enough Tony's chuckle only for life. Mine's all gone. What? We have a giant box of it here from somebody. Oh yeah, we don't even know who that's from. Do you message us. If Somebody you sent has us sent us box. approximately fifty b- bars of Tony's Tuckle Only. Who are you? I'm assuming it's a suitor. And thank, <laughs> and thank you so much. But also, like, thank you so much. And also, whoa, we have enough chocolate. We 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 eat and patron extras. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. We do. We can do a mukbang. Oh my a god, what? a Tony Tuckle Only mukbang. It's What's a, a mukbang? A thing on YouTube. <laughs> oh, hello, Grandma. <laughs> Girl. Again to the Hebrides. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if your grandma just turned 35, you get her a gift. Go on. <sighs> um, so basically, I gave a primer. <laughs> you absolutely bullshitted that. That was 17.95 for a number seven primer. I think it was. I think it was. What? Yeah. That's mad. Um, a mukbang, sorry, it's a thing on YouTube, a Korean concept, where you just order loads of food and you eat it on camera. So, for example, people do like McDonald's mukbangs. Oh, we're not doing that. The no, the sounds will be awful. Oh, no mukbang for Catherine. No, absolutely not. I will be doing a mukbang. But wait. At home alone. <laughs> Please sign up to my YouTube channel. It will be from 1am to 4am. And I will be doing it on the toilet, and we will not end until a slug enters. <laughs> 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 no, I'm joking. That was the most minging thing that was in my head. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Would you, you like a listener problem? Yeah. Would you what? Would you like a listener problem? Yeah. I guess so, yeah. Hello, Trusty Hogs. Our guest next week is the fantastic Geraldine Hickey. Unfortunately, Geraldine's Soho Theatre Run is this week. It's on now from the 29th of August into the 2nd of September. So we can't use her episode next week to promote it because obviously it would have disappeared by then. So instead, here's a brief preview of her next week promoting the show and when it's on and all that sort of stuff. Soho Theatre, Geraldine Hickey. She's a fantastic guest, a fantastic comedian. Um, Go check her out um, so that you can listen to the episode with full context of what a wonderful person she is. Okay, so you're at Soho Theatre. Are there any tickets left? Uh, yes, of course there are. Woo-hoo. Good, uh, look at pl- you guys. Pl- plenty of tickets, but also, you know, n- yeah, n- not too many. Oh, get in quick. Oh my God, Rush. <laughs> yeah, Rush, Come you on. simply must. Yes. You must. What's up, hogs? Um, it's Helen Bauer here. Just to let you know, I am going on tour this year. It's starting in Edinburgh. I'll be there from the 14th to the 27th, and then I'm heading up Europe. I'm heading up Paris, Harlem. Copenhagen, the places you've been begging for me to go. And then all around the UK, apart from Wales. For some reason, I don't have a Welsh date yet. So please, if you're in Wales and you have a venue, just let me know and I'll just come there. We'll have a bit of fun. Um, the, All the tickets are available on my website and I'd love to see you there. And please bring Helen gifties. Thank you so much. Goodbye. <laughs> Andrew, stop eating to- Tony's Chuckle Only. I'm sorry. What the hell, man? We're not going to get through it otherwise. Could you be professional? What flavour are you shoving in your face right now? Um, crispy wafer. Oh, uh, that's my favourite one, Andrew. Please may you stop eating that one. <laughs> <laughs> and when you are ready, we will take a listener problem, please. Oh, well, we've got some problems. Would you like some nice updates and stories? Yes, please. Yes. Although, should we do updates on um, Patreon and then do... Fabulous, yeah, we'll yeah. go to patreon.com 
forward slash trusty hogs for all your updates. What a plug! What a plug! Trusty hogs. We love to see it. Do all right, come on. Wrong, by the way? Give us a listen. No. Two hundred and four. Nine hundred. <gasps> what? We're so close to a thousand, Patreon. Very close to oh 1, my thousand. god! Please keep supporting us. Please don't leave because whenever we say who we're so close to a number, then people, ten people, drop off, and we're all like, no, please don't. No, it's also in the first stay of each month. We're friend. gonna drop off in please, two days' no, time. No, stop it! Stop it! Stop we it! We do. We do. No, we love you. Please stay. Help us. Help us. We must beat Joe Rogan. <laughs> 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 okay, let's have a probby. Uh, okay. So probby. This... We're not saying probby. <laughs> you say that, but then the next thing you know, you'll be saying probby. Okay, go on. Uh, we have a breakup problem. <gasps> Hit me up in through so many. Hey, Hogs. Hey. Thursday, you have made Thursdays my favourite day of the week. I absolutely adore you guys. Oh, Thank you. Who's this so from? Nice. Um, Hi, I am. Uh, problem. At the start of uni, I made friends with a guy who I soon started sleeping with, dating, and then in January, he asked me to be his girlfriend. Classic. Been there many times. <laughs> you haven't even gone to uni. Just shut up. <laughs> None of this stuff blah, 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 applies to you. Things are going really well until the start of May when he just seemed to really distance himself. He would only see me to have sex, didn't want to go out together, long replies, etc. I brought it up to him and he told me he had lost feelings. I found this really hard and confusing because he had initiated everything and was very affectionate. Brack is also my first ever relationship. I really still love him and he lives opposite in our circle of friends and on my course. So my question is really, how to get over someone when it's not impossible to avoid them? Uh, all the best, M. Ooh, M, my sweet love, I'm so sorry. Gosh, that's just like really painful stuff. So first of all, I'm just really sorry that that happened. Also, it, is, it does take a longer time than anyone ever realises to get over a relationship. Oh my gosh, yeah, especially like your first one. Yeah. Of course, your first one. I think um, a little bit of... Ne I think it sounds like you need a little bit of necessary anger maybe you're I like obviously in the pain stage but I think the that feeling of like you know oh I'm a little bit confused of course you're confused he was being confusing like you're not like not able to have caught to have kept up with the situation he was being really confusing well, it's always and unkind. That these people are like in their like late teens early 20s yeah. yeah I think a little bit of anger I think also like yes it's really hard to get over someone when they're there and in every situation but I, I'll bet you there are things you could do in terms of distance and I think it's okay to do those things move no well not necessarily change but maybe uni. I'm not change uni Jesus I just mean like find new like n new club that he's not part of and do something like once a week that, with friends that aren't he, he's not friends with the cards club <laughs> Okay, just because you're jealous that Em and I play cards one oh, yeah. time without, yeah, so get over it. I'm saying like find something to do that he's no like nothing new for you that has nothing to do with him. Occasionally ask your friends out where he's not involved. Those are all okay things to do. Like the but bridge mainly, club. I think like being kind to yourself about time. Like this is gonna take ages, not ages, but a while. Don't you think? Yeah, but that's so. But like, does he live opposite? Gee, were you about to say that's yeah, so opposite. boring? Yeah, opposite. Oh, I, I was a Helen, school, thank you. Helen. <laughs> no, you weren't. No, you weren't. Yeah, Were you like, raised in the 1950s? Oh, no, Andrew, don't, because I'll get upset. How did you even have a bridge club in your school? Was it with the librarians and dinner ladies? It was Mr. Owen, the Latin teacher, actually. <laughs> he had a bridge club, but I went occasionally. Were you being groomed? What's happening? What do you <laughs> Who mean? Who else was in bridge club? <laughs> um, just uh, pretty much the exact demographic you'd expect. Lonely, nerdy gays. Mm. How many of Were you? you being, again I ask <laughs> Enough for two games of bridge yeah. Two tables of bridge Two tables of bridge, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Including the teacher so that, what's that? Seven of you and yeah, the teacher? Seven, seven and the teacher Wow, I really know about bridge now that I talk to more older women. Hey, here's my by that I mean okay. <laughs> my girlfriend's nanny Pat and she's Honestly, great. Honestly, I think one of you has to move just to make it quicker, otherwise it's gonna drag out for longer with the like ifs, buts, whens, possibly getting back together just Do a bit not of get fucking. back with this guy. He needs to move. Now you got a couple of options of pushing someone out. Obviously, number one, we've already discussed this episode, release vermin at his house. I'm talking your rats, your snakes, your poison ivy. Snake? Yeah. Poison. From a pet shop, from a pet release shop, obviously. poison ivy? How does that even work? You, you plant some poison ivy and slowly watch it devour everything he's ever loved. Right. It's an option. Okay, that will drive him away. Mm-hmm. Also, hire sex workers. What? Gorgeous sex <laughs> workers to come over yours. Why are you getting him a so gift? So that he gets jealous. No, for you, for you, for M. Right, okay. So that he can get jealous. You think there are a lot of, like, sexy age-appropriate sex workers available for hire near them? A hundred ten percent. Okay. A hundred... If you're willing to look, you will find... <laughs> 
and that's just the rule for everything, including like tricky ingredients and shops. Right. If you stick with it, you will find right. it. <clears throat> I do think Catherine's right. Like time is important, particularly with first loves. I do think change uni is a big dramatic move, but it is an option. It's not an option. Don't everything, do that. everything's an option. Why would she give up her whole life for him? Why it's not she... because everything happens for a reason. What? Nobody thinks that. Maybe you're meant to go to a hotel in a hotel. Because <laughs> you're not think it's in... university. Yeah. But like, um, I, a campus? Yeah, a campus in Germany. Oh my God, would you stop? Go to a uni in Berlin. No. <laughs> Honestly, you're just going to have to be in pain for a little bit. That's awful, isn't it, it's though? It's awful. And also, can I just say, like, you need to start thinking, you need to make a list of, like, the things that were unattractive Obviously about shit him. shit on his doorstep. You need, like, at the minute you're just, like, to. mooning after this boy, you need to be like, what was hideous about him? By the way, I'll bet you anything you're going to have better sex with somebody else soon. Like, your first is always there's never the best. no way that is, was good. Like, you think no. it was good, but there's no way it was. No. You need to start making lists of, the, of his, like, personal failings and you remind yourself you came, of those. You think did your body spasm? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. those sort of things. Like, Ask were the big you questions. Ch- Genuinely, like asking for mercy as he kept on eating you out. Yeah. I doubt it. Did I you squirt? truly doubt Did it. Did you squirt? Did you squirt? Did you have two thirds pee flying out of you? That's the question there. What? We've been over this I so many times. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are weird when we're sick. I feel like we're both muted and weird. I know because I think we both want to solve it but we both know the answer is just time and healing and it's just a bit sad and frustrating but that's what I said and you said I was boring no I don't think I did my darling you did. You I said don't I was... rem- no memory <laughs> no memory no memory that's all been wiped away sadly will because you, will, of my cold um, will you please update us as to what happened and also next year and presumably next term you don't have to live straight across from him please God or do and haunt him forever no that's not your job and ever no it's not your job and ever no, um, get with one of his best friends. That's a no. There's a plan we can both get. Doesn't behind. feel good, but um, it, do, it it's can feel good. It do. actually can feel good. There's a plan we can both get behind. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you can ruin things for him, which is just petty. But like his favorite restaurant in town, or like if cinema or whatever, get a job there. Like just always be there. Like they no, find that no, no, tricky. no, no. Now we're different. Now we're. No, we're no. not going. To, no, I don't. Don't I, do we're that. I wouldn't do there. that. That'd be fucking mental. Yeah. Yeah, you totally would do that. Probably just. Me. God. Don't, yeah. Move to Germany? I would say so. Put him in a well. You didn't even suggest that. No, the, the wells are full. Okay. We've oh, got to wait another like, couple of months before we part with people in wells because I'm worried that it's going to get to the point where I want to put someone in a well again and all the wells are going to be full. That's such a good it. point. Really something to consider. Well done, yeah. you. Look Until at you. we start digging more wells. Look at you forward stop planning. In the wells. Look at you forward planning. We're not going to start worried building that more my wells. Well is surely, get busy. <laughs> surely, if anything, we're, doing, we're in a fewer wells phase of life. Okay, well, well, I'm glad we're back. <laughs> Happy Trusty Hogs Day. Are we dead? I think we solved it. I think we thrived. I think we did. Hey, guys. Um, please tell us who you think is sicker. Yeah, it's definitely me. And can we also no, no, just... No, please tell us who you think is sicker. <laughs> yeah, please do. I'd actually appreciate that because I my, my asshole also hurts, which we didn't discuss. And remembering um, my feelings were hurt <laughs> with Jordan. So well. My feelings were hurt with Jordan. That was a month ago now. <laughs> No, but I'm sorry, but my feelings feel very feel. Say feel goodbye, we true. have to go. <laughs> goodbye. Your feelings are always hurt. Bye, guys. Bye. Can't be that sick if she's willing to be mean. Catherine, are you ready to say your thank yous? Thank you so much to our executive producers, Simon Moore, Guy Goodman, Mary Fox, Annie Tonner, Sarah Harkey Deacon, Oliver Jago, Anthony Conway, and Matthew Thomas. And Matthew Thomas, what a shame. Oh, that was so sexy until that little mistake. Thank you, Matthew Thomas. Thank you, Matthew Thomas. Thank you. Matthew Thomas is new? Yeah. Woo! And welcome, Matthew Thomas. And welcome, Matthew Thomas. Rolling our shit. <laughs> Thank you to our producers, Richard Bicknell, Elle, Richard Ball, Sadie Cashmore, Zoe, Rachel Page, Helen A, Abby Wharf, Luke Bright, Kate, Dean Michael, Alex McPugh, Amy, Sophie Chivers, Victoria Hutchison, Emma Walton, Becky Fox, Tim and Dom, Raya Fink, Cordelia, Amy O'Reardon, Key Webb, Matt Sims, Tristan Taz, Glennis Woods, Stephanie Catraccia, oh, Claire Owen Jones, Harold Van Dyke, David Walker, Jessa Nick, Rachel R, Neil Redmond, Sarah and Molly, Tina Lindsay, Graham Marsh, Leah Overend, Liz Fort, Chloe, Emily Gee, and Mark with a C. Don't mind if we do, Mark. And we talk about how many new producers there are. Thank you all also so much. Also, your voice during that thank you list. What I've done is gotten quite ill, and I sound much sexier this morning. No, way. but like that was like. 
I thought you were Alexa. I am genuinely grateful to people, though. Thank you so much for supporting the podcast. Thank we you. need you, so thank you. Thank you. Thank Don't you. Know, but thank, thank you, but thank you, Catherine. Thank you, and thank me, and thank them. Thank you. Thank us. Thank, thank you. us. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank them. Thank them. Thank us. Thank us. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>